Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Guillaume with Guiding Echoes and in this video I am going to show you the easiest way to do an oracle card reading, so stay tuned. with Guiding Echoes and in this video I'm going to show you a very simple yet very powerful three card spread that you can use for any oracle deck. Now you can also use this for tarot but I find that it works best for oracle cards. The reason being is that oracle cards are great at giving you advice and helping you to see different situations in different lights. So they're great at giving insight, wisdom, and advice. And after an oracle card reading, if it's done right, you should know what your next move is. So if you're ever in a position where you're facing a challenge and you need something quick that you can turn to, you need some quick answers, this is the spread that you want to go to and it only requires three different cards. So um, the deck that I'm going to be using is the Oracle of the Mermaids deck. This is one of my favorite Oracle um, decks because it's one of the first ones that I ever received. So it's near and dear to my heart and plus it's written by Lucy Cavendish who I love and uh, Selena Finch did a wonderful job on the artwork. So the very first thing you'll want to do is focus on your question. Focus on the challenge or the difficulty that you're facing right now. Now you can do this for yourself, but you can also do it for a friend. So if you have a friend or a coworker or a neighbor or whoever that's in dire straits and they're in need of some type of wisdom or guidance, this is a method that you can use for them. So what you'll want to do is hold that question in your mind and begin to shuffle the cards. Okay, so with that question in mind, whether it's your own question, whether it's a challenge that your friend is facing, start shuffling the cards. Okay, and just keep shuffling until you feel that you've shuffled enough. And remember, your higher self, your angels and guides are all here to protect you during this reading, and they're going to direct the cards to the right position so that you can get a good accurate reading. And if you want to, you can even say a little prayer over the cards. You can ask your angels and guides and higher self for help with this so you can pull the right cards and get an accurate reading, okay? So once you're done shuffling, you can either keep them like this if you want or if you're like me, you're gonna split that deck. I'm a deck splitter. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull your three cards. So the very first card is going to represent what you are ignoring in the situation. Okay, it's either what you don't see or what you're ignoring. There's a slight difference because what you don't see is really what you can't see. What you're ignoring is what you're aware of, but you're refusing to see it. You don't want to acknowledge it's there. Okay, so for an example, we'll go ahead and pull a card from the Oracle of the Mermaids. And the first card is... Um, uh, uh oh, <laughs> it's Arama, or Ur Arama, Armarama. Sorry, um, it says wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, or journey of the soul. So if you were to pull this card, and remember this card represents what the person is ignoring, whether that's yourself or the person you're reading for, and this is the card you would pull. What would you say that they're ignoring? Look at, you know, on the bottom we have Wonder Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, or Journey of the Soul. And of course, if you needed more information on this card, if you weren't sure, you could just turn around and go to the booklet. Find out what the booklet has to say. Or you can even look at the picture. If I were to read this card, I would probably block out the words here. That's just me. And I would look at this picture and see how this mermaid is almost reaching the dolphin, but she doesn't quite, she can't quite get it. I would say that what the person is ignoring to do is she's ignoring to reach out to her friends. I would assume that dolphins and mermaids are natural friends, don't you think? So I would think that they're not reaching out to their friends who can help them during this time of trouble and need. Okay? But you may read this and you may see, say that 
journey of the soul is down here and crossing deep waters, so maybe they're afraid to take the next step. They know what they need to do, but they're not diving into it, right? So that's a possibility. So the first card is what they're ignoring or what they can't see. The next card represents what do I need, okay? What does the person you're reading for need or what do you need in this situation? And this card says time and tide, oceanic spells and rituals. Okay, so if I were to pull this card and it says time and tide, I would say that you need to take time out for yourself, right? You need to understand that this challenge or difficulty or situation is going to require some time. You didn't get into the situation overnight. You're not going to get out of it overnight, so you need to give it some time. But then we also have Oceanic Spells and Rituals. Now this may not mean an actual ritual for you, um, for me, a ritual would mean something that you do every day. Getting up out of bed, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, that's kind of a ritual. So maybe you need to put some type of ritual into place that can drag you out of the slump that you're in. Or maybe you need to start reaching out to your higher power or to the divine spirit that you believe in and start praying. You know, start asking for help from your higher self from those higher spirits so that's a possibility as well so that's what you need okay that's what you need to do so the next card is what should I do and here we have transparency and it says honest authentic genuine and present so what does that tell you the person needs to be in the moment that's what she should do right she should be in the moment and she needs to be honest and authentic which means she needs to open herself up and she needs people to see how this challenge how this difficulty is affecting her so all of this actually flows together beautifully because in the beginning we saw what she was ignoring or what she was failing to do was she was failing to reach out to her friends right and then over here we also know that she's not reaching out to her higher self or to God or whatever she believes in because, again, ritual came up, right? So that's something that she needs to do, not only to gain the attention of the spirits around her, and, well, they always have your attention, but it's more like giving them permission to act. So that's what she needed. She needed to give them permission to act but she also needs to build that relationship with them. And then as far as the action that she needs to take, well, we have transparency. She needs to be honest and open. You know, if you don't tell people about your problems, they can't help you through them. Not everyone's psychic like me. Not everyone's psychic like you. You need to, you need to actually use your voice and your words sometimes to get the messages across. So that is a simple three card spread that can help you to gain insight, wisdom, and advice on virtually any challenge and difficulty that you're facing in your life. So if you have any questions about this spread, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And if you have any comments, I'd love to hear those as well. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would love to welcome you to the Guiding Echoes community. And I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when I release new videos in the future. If you would like to learn more about me or if you would like to order a personalized tarot or oracle card reading, please visit my website at guidingechoes.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.